Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Um, today I have a collaboration with Fan Cells. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Anyway, um, Fan Cells sent me a few things for me to share with you, and I'm super excited because there's something in here I've never shared on my channel before. So let's dig into it. If you have not shopped at Fan Cells before, if you have not heard of them, they do diamond painting, um, DIY diamond painting crafts, like keychains, stickers, bookmarks, stuff like that. And then they do cross stitch, paint by numbers, blind boxes. Uh, I think that's it. They have some really good kits on here. And, oh, and they do like crochet kits and yarn also. All right, sorry clicking around while I'm talking so let's dive in I will do the thing I haven't done on the channel before last all right so I got five cross stitch kits four of them go together that one does not so I'll do the one that does not go together that made so so much sense. Anyway, I'll do this one first. So this one is called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood card full. Um, it is 11 count, stamped 40 by 70 centimeters, and it is showing currently at $9.70. comes with one of the little kits that has the needle threader, the adjustable thumb or finger thimble thing, ring, and five needles in a poof ball. I love the kits. They really come in handy. Okay, it is on tear proof paper. It has the image, the instructions for cross stitch, and the chart all printed on one piece. Shows it is 39 centimeters by 69 centimeters, which is slightly different than what it says, but only by one. And then 147 stitches by 277 stitches. It has 34 colors. Good mix of symbols and colors. Doesn't look like anything too similar. I mean, there's two greens, but one's really light and one's dark, so that shouldn't be difficult. The picture, I mean, this chart makes it look like she's screaming or singing. <laughs> it's just little open mouth. Alright. It looks like it is printed clearly. Sorry, it keeps my hands are shaking so it keeps focusing and refocusing. I feel like the printing on the chart is a little small for me. But hopefully I won't have to look at it too often. But it is clear from what I can see. It's really easy for me to see in the monitor. Looks like everything's in its square, and each square is obvious. It's not just one big block of that color. I love that image. This is, it's not quite, I say it I think every time, but it's not quite what I'd normally choose, but I don't know. I looked at this one several times, and I just really like it, so it's like, why not? I love the wolf. I just like the whole thing. And I have a feeling it's going to be fun to stitch. Yeah, let's look at the canvas. This one of those that's narrower than it is. I mean, it's pretty long. Long and narrow. It is surged all the way around. 
so it shouldn't fray. I probably will stitch the background since it's not very much because it's a lighter 946. I think it's light, like a light tan. Because I feel like it would look just fine white. Just the canvas color, but I think I'm going to stitch it. Because I'm going to want to stitch through here anyway, so I think it'd look funny if I didn't stitch all of it. Um, the canvas itself is printed pretty clearly. I was going to say it's a little bit I can see it on the camera that each square is, I can see it, but the red was almost a little oversaturated there for me. It just looks like she's horrified in this. I might do her face first just so I don't have to keep looking at that, that image. <laughs> Here's the thumbnail. It's all full stitches. And the legend. 34 colors. Love that wolf. I think it's going to turn out well. I think 34 colors is enough for this. I think my biggest concern is the flower. Because you can see all the lines of the petals and stuff in the flower. So I don't know how well that's going to translate to this. But it's got quite a bit of confetti in it. Sprinkles. So it might turn out pretty good. And then her hair, you know, it's not going to be as detailed as the picture, but I think the hair will turn out fine. I have to wait and see about the eyes. And I love just how this looks these parts. So yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy stitching this. The confetti or sprinkles. It looks like both. It looks like there is confetti. Like I see one symbol here, one symbol there of some stuff. So it's going to be a little tedious in spots, but it's going to have these larger blocks of color to kind of balance it out. And it's usually worth it in the end the detail. We will see. Let's look at the petals. Was it any surprise that I had trouble opening that? Alright, it is on floss drops, which as you know by now is my preferred storage method. Look at these just nice, like, autumn colors. Browns and rust colors, oranges, peaches, pinks. I don't even know if pinks, just orangey, peachy, pinky. I was just not showing up. Let me pause. I think I do this every video also. Alright, I messed with it and I could not get it. But this is like a pinky color. And these are like a really light pink. Or really pale something. Just looks kind of cream to me in my on my monitor. Maybe if y'all know DMC numbers. The numbers will help. I'm a little disappointed because I was really loving the colors and I look at the monitor and I'm like some of these are nowhere near and then no matter how I adjust the settings this keeps coming out like a gold on my monitor and it's like a peachy pink. But these browns are coming out really really nicely. They're almost like a gold brown and a rust brown just really pretty autumnal colors with some greens and grays 
burgundy or maroon. Just lovely, lovely colors. So I really look forward to working on this one. But this one I might put up for a little bit since I have so many going. We will see because I am such a mood stitcher. And she might just call to me and tell me, come stitch. Come stitch, Amanda. You know you want to. Lovely, lovely, lovely colors. So that was my first kit. And sit her to the side. Again, that was Little Red Riding Hood card. Cool. $9.70. All right. Now these. A little curl from being in the package. These four, they're all Joy Sunday, so I'm only going to show you the, the basic little package ones. These are summer, or spring, summer, autumn, and winter. This is spring stamp partial, 14 count, 18 by 20. Um, that is the bunny spring of stamps and then summer is the kitty cat summer stamps 14 count 19 by 19 I wonder why spring's a little different um, autumn is 19 by 19 this is cute little hedgehog autumn of stamps and winter 17 by 19 is this cute little Octopus? I'm not sure what this is. This one is Winter of Stamps. If you know what that is, let me know. It looks like tentacles, or is that water? Is that a seal in water? I'm an idiot. That's a seal, isn't it? It's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, the lighting. There we go. I thought it was tentacles, but it's just little waves, and then there's this little flippy tail, and his flippers, his fins, whatever you want to call these things. Anyway, all right, let us open these kits and look at them. So spring, let me look. They're all showing, nope, they're slightly different price for one of them. So this one is $2.47. Comes in a resellable package with the instructions for cross stitch print on the back. All four of these do, so I'll just show you that the one time. And everything you need, of course, is in the kit. I got these because I've been looking at them for about a year. And they look like they'll be fast little stitches. Cotton fabric, cotton thread, needle instructions. It's got the kit number and name. 14 count, two strands, 18 by 20 centimeters. Okay, for the cover page. And then spooky, spooky paper. Looks like it has 28 collars. 27 full stitch, one back stitch, only back black for back stitch. And it's just one page pattern. It's Joy Sunday, so you know it's going to be clear, clearly printed, easy to read. Backstitch is very clear. And then um, the symbols and everything used on the pattern are not what is on the printed canvas, so you follow the canvas, not the chart. funny because you know the the actual piece is smaller than the printed chart because it is small 18 by 20 centimeters it's got the numbers the symbols and the colors printed around the edges it is searched all the way around with the name of the kit the kit number printed on here so you won't get them separated 
hope you can see everything okay. It's a little small for me, the printing, but I can make out the symbols and the colors. It's the numbers that actually like that, that I have issues with. I can see them clearly in the screen, my eyesight. So I'll be referring to the chart for the numbers and then looking back to see which one, which symbol goes with it. It's such a happy little thing. Happy little bunny with what cotton, vegetables, sorry I was trying to figure out what that is, a little onion, a little leek, I don't know, a little vegetable and a carrot, a little birdhouse, some plants clock. It's just really cute. I love the little paper airplane. Airplanes. Of course it's kind of stiff but it'll soften up. Comes with two needles stapled to the floss card. Just mock it so it won't be a lot of floss. Here it is. Shows the number, the DMC number code, and then how many strands are in each hole. So like this one says two, there should be two strands. It's doubled so there'll be four, but two full strands. And it has the kit number printed on there. 14 count, two strands. So if you get this separated from your kit, you'll know they go together. It's a good floss card. All right. Here's the colors. It's spring, but it almost feels like autumn colors. That's because I guess carrot and the pots and the just there's browns, rust colors. But then we got the greens and the oranges and the yellows. There's 1 through 15, 16 through 28. Looks like that. That's probably the envelope since it's got the most. Maybe not most. It's just two that has two also. And then the back stitching, the black. Lots of like peaches coming up more orange on my monitor, but pinks. Kind of apricot. But here's all those pretty spring colors. It's gonna be a cute little stitch. This was a little series. I thought it'd be cute to either um, frame them or maybe make them into like little pillows or something. Some kind of little decoration. And I'll either put them up off war and just leave them up year round or maybe have them out for the seasons. I was trying to get to where you could see all the colors but that was really messy. I think I'm hitting the microphone again. I'm sorry if I'm hitting it. Okay, there was that one. And then that was two dollars forty-seven cents. Summer is also two dollars forty-seven cents. Same paper with the same information on it. This one's summer stamps. 19 by 19 centimeters. This one has 27 colors, 27 full stitch, four quarter stitch, and two back stitch. About 27 colors all together. Look at that excited little expression. So cute. It's got a little kite. Got some strawberry milk, got some kind of jam, probably strawberry because it's surrounded by strawberries. It's just so cute. Again, printed clearly. It's Joy Sunday, expect nothing less. Easy to read, be easy to follow. I 
again the printed pattern is more contrasty, different than the chart and it doesn't use the numbers and letters, it uses symbols. It's printed all over, searched all the way around so it won't fray. Summer stamps, it's got the kit number on it. 77 stitches by 78 stitches. It's got the back stitch there. So is it just two? I already forgot what I looked at. So yeah, two back stitch. Like I said, it's hard for me. I can see it in, in the monitor. I don't know why I'm not just looking in there. It's got the two colors of back stitch. Oops, this stuff focusing. One through 20 and then 21 through 27 for the full stitches and then the four quarter stitches. It's just so stinking cute. Printed clearly. They have the back stitch on here but I mean you're going to stitch over most of it so luckily it's printed clearly on the chart. Not seeing much confetti. It's going to be a pretty easy stitch. Again small. Really looking forward to working on it. Got two needles stapled to the floss cards and kind of floss card is the other one. Lovely, lovely colors in this one. Vibrant, pretty reds and green, pink, yellow, some tans. Those reds are really vibrant. It's 1 through 15, 16 through 27. Kind of browns and yellows, more green. I think that's a really light blue. Might be a white and I'm just seeing it weird. The lighting. Because when I hold it up it looks more white but whenever it's hanging down, like on my monitor it looks kind of bluish. Hope you don't think I'm rushing through it. I just figured since you've already seen one kit I can kind of fast forward a little bit and mostly show you the, the pretty, pretty colors. All right, that's the second one. Hope you don't get bored of seeing since they're similar. This one, the fall one, I think might be my favorite. Same kind of packaging as the first two. Autumn of Stamps is also $2.47. So I think only the winter one's slightly different priced. Same information on the cover sheet. The name, kit number. 14 count, 19 by 19 centimeters. Ah, oh, just look at him. He looks so content, so happy. Kind of looks like he might be giggling a little bit. It's a cute little hedgehog. Got the mushrooms, got gourds, pumpkin. Let's see, he has 29 colors. Well, 31, sorry. He's at 31 colors. Two back stitch, 29 full stitch. 80 stitches wide by 79 stitches high. Clearly printed chart. Easy to read. On this glossy and squeaky paper. Another one's kind of tiny. Looking forward to doing these little ones. Autumn of Stamps. 
has the kit number on it. Looks like one through nineteen and twenty through twenty nine with the full stitch and then the two thirty and thirty one back stitch. Again, very clearly printed. Kind of small for my eyes, but I just did it under a good light with my glasses on. It'll be fine. Okay, I don't know why they put the back stitching on printed since you're going to be stitching over it. Maybe just so you can kind of see what your you know what the image is as you're stitching it. Back stitching really brings it out. I love the pumpkin. It's so cute. And the mushroom. Now the just autumn leaves and the berries. It's going to be such a cute little image. I love that they're all in envelopes. It's like just getting ready to mail some people some happiness. Get the floss card. It's got the two needles stapled. Okay, this one has two floss cards. Looks like number 31 is by itself. It's just the, the white. And then sorry, it's tangled. One through fifteen. Got some lovely reds, browns, pink, and orange. For one through fifteen, and then sixteen through thirty. Kind of rusts and golds and some more pinks, yellow and black. And all together. Now these are really nice autumn colors. The color of dried leaves and winter berries and the cute little hedgehog. All right, that was kit three out of the four kit series. And here's the fourth one. This one is the winter of stamps. It is 17 by 19 centimeters, 14 count, two dollars and 35 cents. Maybe it's a little bit cheaper because it's a little bit smaller. Same packaging. Same information on the cover sheet. It's so cute. Is that like a little paper boat? Which is kind of creepy because I'm listening to Stephen King's It right now. <laughs> so if you if you know, you know. It seems like such an odd thing to choose for winter. A water creature. But at the same time, it's adorable. Are those like some kind of winter flowers or are those like snowflakes? Probably some kind of winter flower. Got the stars and a moon and the trees. The lighthouse. That lighthouse is cute. Alright, I'll stop just looking at the image and look at the pattern. This one has 22 colors, 21 full stitch, 2 back stitch. 
67 stitches by 78 stitches and it is adorable. Printed clearly, easy to read, and glossy thick paper, squeaky squeaky paper. And again, the printing on the canvas does not match the chart. So you go by what's printed on the canvas. There's one through 14, 15 through 21, and then the two back stitches. It's got the name and the kit number. Surged all the way around. It's a little wonky on this side, but not going to affect anything. Clearly printed. Easy to read. Kind of tiny for me, but I can still read it. I can still see the symbols. I like that it's, it's just a bunch of little blocks of color. I'm not seeing much, if any, sprinkles. And no confetti really. I mean like the, the little dot dot dots in the middle of the flower and then like the little nose. It's about as close as you're going to get to confetti in this it looks like. It's going to be a pretty pretty fun stitch. This might be my funnest one to stitch. It might, it's, it's a cute image. It's not my favorite image of the four, but it, it looks like it's going to be easy to stitch. A fun little stitch. Okay, it's got the two needles on the floss card. It's not as many blues as what I expect from winter, which I actually like. We got red for the lighthouse and whatever this is. Some brown, some grays, tan, yellow, pink. There's some blues, and a green, some more tans. Pretty colors. That's 1 through 15, and then 16 through 22. Yellow, pink, blue. Really light blue, maybe? I don't even know what color that is. It's like an orangey, rusty color. White and black. Might not be the exact palette I would have thought for winter, but I think it's going to work just fine. And it's such a cute little image. Not every winter image has to be the same. I think I'm so used to like Christmas and and I don't even know images. Winter forests and with with deer and stuff and birds. I think that's what I'm so used to seeing that it, it's throwing me off that this is like a more of a, a winter water image with the lighthouse and stuff but I actually really like that. It's cute. Alright, so those were my four kits of the series and my five cross stitch kits that I got. I have one more thing to share with you. Try not to get these mixed up, but luckily everything's printed on them, so if I do, then I can easily sort them out. Oops, did you hear the thump? All right, so the last thing I got it is, let me take it out of this plastic. This cute little beginner crochet hook kit, handmade crafts, knitting hooks for DIY scarves, gloves. Anyway, it's a long name, but it's creative hook fabric. Um, if you scan the code, you get the instruction video to learn how to do it. But it's a little crochet kit. 
it was listed it's listed as five dollars and ninety cents um, it's not showing on here but on the site it shows bees that I got the bees kit I haven't even opened this yet so there it is bees I said it wasn't showing but it's obviously showing right here um, I don't know if they have any of the other kits let me check and see if I can figure out so I'm not seeing any other kits. Um, if you get on the site, there might be some, and I'm just overlooking them. Like I said, this one's five dollars and ninety cents. Has the instructions. Um, shows you how to hold the hook, which is not how I hold a hook, but oh, pin method. I do not. I do the knife method, which I'm still learning. So maybe I would like the pin method. And then how to hold the yarn to keep the tension. I don't quite do either of those, I don't believe. But I've been knitting for so many years that it's weird learning how to crochet. It comes with all the yarn you need. This one comes with the four collars with some more little general instructions on how to like work in the round hold the yarn has some written instructions to go with the pictures show some more of the kits that are available okay the yarn the stuffing the polyfill comes with let's see some stitch markers a crochet hook, a large eye tapestry needle, some snips, um, two, I think two, yeah two, just the little eyes, and what is that, I think that's just that was probably just over the tip of the crochet hook. So anyway, it comes with everything you need to make a little bee. It's going to be adorable. Yellow, black stripes, white wings, and cute little rosy cheeks. So yeah, I have not showed any crochet on this channel before. And I'm kind of nervous because, like I said, I'm still learning. I like that it comes in this little zipper container. But I will show you my progress. I might try to record myself learning. But since I probably have to watch the video, I don't know how well that will work. And I don't know if that's something you would want to see. But yeah. Cute little crochet it. So once again, that was Fan Cells. Thank you so much, Fan Cells, for sending me all these kits. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed my awkward rambling, unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, of these kits. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am about me introducing something new on my channel because I've been trying off and on for a while now to learn how to crochet and I keep just going away from it because I'm a procrastinator. So maybe showing you this kit will hold me accountable and make me actually do it. What do you think? Do you crochet? Is, is it going to is it going to turn out cute or am I going to make it all wonky? What do you think? <laughs> let me know. Um, if you like the kits, let me know if um, you might want think about ordering them. Maybe we could work on them together. I just really look forward to having these cute little kits done. And then I love the Red Riding Hood. But I, I don't, I'm not sure when I'm going to work on that one. So yeah. Sorry. it's My brain is just not functioning right now. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.